Hi, thank you for joining us here at Tax Talk UK, where we talk about all things um, tax and other important aspects of running your um, small business and being um, self-employed. Um, so today we're just going to have a little um, think about scams, how to avoid them and what to do if, um, if you're targeted. And before we get on to that, if I could please ask you to take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel, that way you'll easily be able to refer back to our information if you need to, as well as finding other information on a whole wide range of topics um, to help you in your self-employment and running your small business. If you want to be notified when we update new information, then you should also turn on the notifications. So um, thinking then about scams, um, so we wanted to, um, to do a little bit on um, scams, having been contacted by someone asking us if um, uh, an email that they had received from HMRC was um, genuine. Um, the email was telling them that they had um, received a tax rebate, which they thought was a bit strange um, because they um, hadn't actually paid any tax. Um, so they thought it would be strange that they would be able to have some tax back that they hadn't um, paid. And as they suspected, it was a um, it was a scam, um, someone trying to get their um, their bank details. Um, so, of course, there's a whole wide range um, of, of scams out there, sadly, and a whole wide, wide range of ways that um, we contacted to try and get us to fall for these scams. Um, so by um, phone, by text, by email. Um, so th there's there's obviously um, many different types of scam. Um, so I would just um, thinking generally um, suggest that anything that you receive, um, if if you're not entirely sure um, about it, for a start, that you check with the person who um, it's claimed is sending you the communication. So in this example, um, I was able to look um, on the uh, on the HMRC um, um, account for the for the person and and quickly identified that they weren't um, due a, due a rebate. So that put their mind at rest that they weren't missing out on anything. Um, so always think of how you can actually verify and don't click on the link. Um, that you're sent. So if you're sent something from um, your bank, for example, and it has a phone number in it, actually look at your bank statement and phone the bank on the number on the statement um, just to verify um, that the that the communication is is um, genuine. So sometimes it's on the opposite um, side. Um, we're told that we owe we owe money and we must um, immediately um, sort this sort this out um, to avoid um, serious consequences. Now, of course, um, if we've always paid all our um, liabilities on time, this can be quite um, an intimidating um, contact to receive, quite alarming to think that you have um, perhaps missed um, paying something. So again, always take a take a deep breath, um, have have a cup of coffee or um, tea, and um, just have a little think um, and and kind of get things in perspective um, to take yourself out of that initial panic mode, and then think um, just sort of take some time to think about. Um, again, whatever the communication is, just ask what it's um, telling you, and ask yourself how can I verify. Um, that this is that this is correct. And again, the most important thing is not to communicate via any of the methods um, that you're given in the contact. So always um, independently find contact for the person that's supposed to be contacting you um, to verify. Now, um, quite often it can be very obvious that something's a scam or um, perhaps you get targeted with the same thing um, a lot of a lot of times. Now, I would say in these um, instances, of course, there's no risk um, to you of losing money because you know and you perhaps just block the number if it's a text or the email address if it's by email and don't give it a second thought. But I just would ask you to just bear in mind that 
um, not everyone will be so confident that it's a scam and people will fall for these scams. So please do um, take the time to just report um, the contacts that you have had. Um, and, and it literally just takes a second um, to do this. So for example, if you receive a, um, a text um, that you believe is a, um, a some sort of scam, if you forward that text to the number 7726, then this will automatically um, forward the text to your provider um, and to their um, to their abuse department who will look into that. Then they should then have automatically respond to that asking for the, the phone number that the text um, came from. So if you can respond from that. So the more that we can all do our bit to take that literally few seconds to, um, to report um, the contact um, that we receive, then that of course will help um, to, to, to sort of disrupt these scammers and to, um, to, to ensure that their scam attempts are, are as little um, successful as possible. And if the um, scam communication is coming to you by email, then the National um, Cyber Security Centre will be interested in that. So again, it just takes two seconds to, report, um, to forward the email and report it. Um, and the email address to forward it to is report at phishing. .gov.uk. And again, with the text um, number to forward to and the um, email to forward to, you can just save these in your contacts and then it will just take you, literally takes two seconds. So much as you um, were completely aware that it was a scam and weren't falling through it, that will help to reduce the possibility of other people um, sort of falling victim um, to it. Now, um, that's all well and good if you have um, if you have been alerted and you have done your um, checks on this contact um, that you've had and you've realised it's a scam. But what if? Um, unfortunately, you are a victim um, of a scam. And the first thing to say with that is don't be embarrassed. Um, lots of people are victim of, um, of scams. And um, uh, 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 and it, it is sadly it's commonplace for people to, um, to for people to fall um, victim. Um, so so the important thing is don't be embarrassed and please do report it because again um, it's important that the authorities are aware that gives them every opportunity to shut down the um, scammers. Um, and, to, and to sort of support their work on that. So um, if you've um, handed over money, then of course that is fraud and you should be reporting that to the police um, on 101. And also you should um, report the matter to um, Action Fraud, who are a voluntary um, organisation in place to deal with um, all different aspects um, of fraud. So hopefully this gives you an overview and um, I hope that this helps you to um, be more confident to, um, to sort of reject the attempts to scam you and also um, to, to be aware of the, of the need to, to just take a second to report um, the communication that you have. And um, in the description below, I will put um, the links to Action Fraud and also the National Cyber um, Security Centre, both of which have a whole wide um, range of resources. Um, if you if you want more information on a specific type of scam that you've been um, targeted with. So thank you very much for watching. And as I mentioned, please do take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, please stay, stay, stay safe. Take care. Goodbye.